Hey, what's up, Comic Frontline fans? Welcome back, and you're with me, Mike Spider Slayer. And guys, get ready for the reintroduction to Comic Book Corner Classic. That's right, everybody. This is a series where we review some of the classic comic books, uh, going back to, I think it's 1990 and older. Um, I'm pretty sure if it's 1999, whatever, old comic books, okay? And today, we are going to introduce the series talking about The Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 212. That's right, everybody. Now, what is the significance of The Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 212? Well, it is the origin tale and the first appearance of Hydro-Man. That's right. The guy that's made out of water, kind of like Sandman's actual you know, twin brother, except instead of made out of sand, it's water. Um, yeah, really interesting stuff here. Uh, this book is written by Danny Denny O'Neill, and our artwork here is done by John Ramuda Jr. and Jim Mooney. So they both do the artwork in this particular issue. Uh, this issue, uh, this series actually has this uh, classic Spider-Man feel. We obviously have our, uh, you know, newspaper print type of pages got your classic articles in here uh this book was made in 1981 uh so we have this back you know it's always great to see classic spider-man great peter parker old peter parker uh you get to see um you know hydro man in here uh as well and uh here you get to see him form uh into his you know hydro man status for the first times uh, so basically, what, it, what is this story about? Well, it's it's about Hydro Man, and uh, the guy's name is uh, Maury Bench. Uh, that's that's his name. And there was this contraption that was lowered into the water, um, and what happens? It was supposed to do the scientific experiments and whatnot, and it went wrong. It wind up snapping. There's electrical things going all over the place, and Spider Man had to come and save the day. And as he was moving boxes and getting trying to get out of the way, he wound up throwing Bench, uh, Maury Bench, over the edge, and he winds up his his body structure and the molecules of the water that the machine was putting out winds up making him into Hydro Man. Um, and uh, Maury Bench finds out that it was Spider Man that actually threw him over the edge. Uh, but it's funny because in this actual issue, uh, you see, you know, when Maury Bench gets rescued. Uh, he's trying to dry off, and he's just dripping water over the place, and he can't get dry and whatnot. So it's quite interesting to see the man's origin tale. Now, when you read this comic today, the plot is very weak, and you're sitting there going, oh, my God, I can't believe this is happening, because he's like, I'm going to get the web slinger. He's like, I'm going to go through every pipe and every faucet that I can find until I find the web slinger, and it is so funny to see the dialogue in this thing. And you got this girlfriend that's it's with uh, Maury Bench and everything, and her dialogue is just so classic. And uh, it, it was so funny. And just the way, like, you know, Maury Bench is sitting here, you know, he's losing his mass, uh, and he's just becoming water, and nobody notices him at the bar, you know, drifting away in this big water pool. I thought it was hysterical. Um, but it's great to see these classic style of comics. Uh, comics. Uh, you get to see cool artwork here when he, you know, he becomes Hydro Man and he shoves people away. And you get to see at the end of this issue uh, that it's, it's um, Peter's interest at this time is not Mary Jane, uh, but it is, um, what is her name? Uh, Deborah Whitman. Uh, and, and she's right here with him and, and she's doing, uh, you know, going out in the town and doing some freelance reporting with Peter at the time. Uh, so that was quite interesting to see that too. And, um, you get to see this cool battle at the end, uh, between Spider-Man and Hydro-Man, uh, which I thought was fun. Um, and how Spider-Man tries to outsmart, uh, Hydro-Man by going on a rooftop that's super hot and he leaves, you know, there's a clothesline up top, and Hydro Man runs into that. He runs into, and he runs into newspapers to be absorbed and whatnot. And uh, yeah, it was quite interesting. And then eventually gets, he gets evaporated into the sky. And uh, but obviously, it's not the end of 
uh, Hydro Man because it starts raining and it's it's his steam that created the rain that that ended the drought that was going on uh, in in Manhattan. So in New York, so I, I thought it was funny. It was a kick. It's a good read. It's fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man two twelve is just classic comics that you know we all remember and love as kids. Uh, growing up and uh, if you remember this issue guys tell me what you thought about it what you think of the origin of Hydro Man and uh, look for more episodes or installments of Comic Book Corner Classic uh, back in the day I had a channel uh, YouTube channel actually dedicated to older comics uh, but eventually it wound up becoming a series uh, that came to Dark Avenger Inc. and then it came now to over here on Comic Frontline and more of us will be doing uh, installments of this. So guys, let me know what you think of this series. Let, you, let me know what you think of this issue. And guys, as always, thank you for watching Comic Frontline and until the next comic book review or any kind of review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off and I'll see you guys real soon. Take care everyone. Bye.